HuntleyForHeisman.com. If you haven't checked it out, you're missing out. The push from Utah football for Tyler Huntley to get a trip to New York City. It is real, and it makes a lot of sense. Mike Ammon, Yogi Roth with you. You have a Heisman vote. This is not just a school getting behind one of its best players. There is a real-world approach when you look at what he's been able to accomplish on the football field. You think he's as deserving as anyone to be not only in that conversation, but get that invite to the Big Apple. He's doing what he needs to do to allow his team to thrive, not just win and survive. He's winning them games, right? You look at his last three games, he's completing about 80% of his passes. You look at third down, this guy's completing 80% of his passes, sure. which is ahead of Joe Burrow, who's pretty much the Heisman front runner right now because he's earned it, he's played well, but he also throws the ball twice as many times as this young man. So I think all things considered, he's wow. got to be in the conversation the way his team has played. They're an elite team, one loss, potential CFP team and the way he's led them there versus just manage them and not screw it up so they're there. I think for most Heisman voters, and there's the reality is, and you would probably agree with this, way too many of them, it's too <laughs> easy to look at the numbers and watch some of the games. We've had opportunities to talk to Tyler, to be around his teammates as well. I know you've had conversations with his family. We just had Zach Moss on Inside Pac-12 Football earlier this week. To hear Zach, to hear Kyle Whittingham, um, some of his other teammates talk about him as an actual person. To me, that's the differentiator in a lot of ways. Like it's so easy to get behind a kid like that. Yeah, he's impressive. And I think I think what happens to him, and I believe what has happened to him, is that we forget kind of where he came from, right? Because he went to Utah and it was like, well, he didn't go to Miami, he didn't go to Florida State, he didn't go to Florida. Yeah, because he spurred that because he wanted to do his own thing, write his own story. And he wasn't like an average recruit. It's the player of the year in the state of Florida, Mike. There's dudes down there. There's dudes down there. And he went to Salt Lake City. He beat out a captain, Troy Williams, two years ago. He held off a five-star recruit last year, made it kind of easy, yeah. and now he's thrived under another offensive coordinator, another offensive system. And again, I go back to my favorite quote about him. He's playing quarterback. He's not playing catch. A lot of quarterbacks that put up huge numbers are playing catch, throwing it around, throwing it to green grass. He's at the line of scrimmage audibling. He's at the line of scrimmage going under center. It's play action pass, turning his eyes and his back to a defense, having to whip and back around. I mean, he's doing things within the craft that would make you say, wow, not only should he be up for the Heisman, but hey, let's start talking about him at the next level, the way he's playing the position. So I am a big fan of how he's playing, how he's performing, and then of course, how he's competing because he's elevating everyone around him. Yeah, I'm actually at HuntleyForHeisman.com. I'm on their website and I'm going through what a lot of people are saying about him and some of the numbers. They truly are remarkable. I encourage everyone to take a closer look at that site. Tweet early, tweet often. Yeah. I'll do one better. Yeah. Not just take a look at it if you're a voter. It's your job to take a look at it if you're a voter or just give away your vote. Don't make this a joke or a popularity contest based on the biggest school and the best player. If he doesn't win it, that's fine, but at least make sure you watch and have the consideration for how well he's playing. Yeah, he has been an absolute monster so far this season and still a great opportunity for his team to get it done on the national stage. Potential college football playoff team still got to take care of business though in the Pac-12 conference and win a Pac-12 championship.